to kick your ass, person that's watching at home, so that's something. Probably. He's on dry land. Uh, if he's out of the water for even one hour, he dies. Yo, I can run Aquaman's fade? You nasty. Hey, we made this far and you haven't already. Drop a sub button, channel, drop a like, full reaction, full discussion is going to be here, but also on Patreon. Death Battle Reaction is coming up next. Sock Pop said, Nasty Cat said, your man behind the cam director here with another Death Battle Reaction. SpongeBob SquarePants versus Aquaman. This is very obviously going to be a battle under the sea. Yeah, it's going to be dope. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. This intro is gonna be very short because usually I start talking about, ooh, what do I know about SpongeBob? What do I know about Aquaman, bro? Everybody know who SpongeBob SquarePants is. I ain't gonna lie to you. Again, channel canon. Most of y'all already know I did not grow up with cable. I didn't know cable until I was already in college. Grown, son. I didn't watch SpongeBob until I was an adult. That's just the honest truth. I saw like splashes of it being at my friend's house, but I didn't watch SpongeBob until I was an adult. But the point is, none of that matters because SpongeBob is literally planetary. He's literally gone from underwater in the earth. He knows karate. He has superpowers. He's been a standard for Merman and Barnacle Boy. Uh, and at the end of the day, he has tune power, bro. He has tune power. Aquaman, on the other hand, I see they went with. Super Friends Aquaman, so I'm gonna assume he's from the comic. Yeah, he's gonna have comic powers, but at the end of the day, I don't know, man. I don't know. SpongeBob literally feels no pain, takes no damage, and can be destroyed. He literally has been torn apart, cubed, and put back together. He's literally fallen apart into separate particles and re on some on some reanimation jutsu. Yo, shout out reanimated, right? They've put themselves back together. So for me, it's one of these things like I can't fathom in any universe where Super Friends Aquaman is going to take this win. I just don't know. And it's one of those things where like, who knows? Maybe I hear some information and it's like, oh, you know what? They scaled him up with some feats or maybe he's getting close to SpongeBob SquarePants tune power. But I feel like this is a SpongeBob stomp fest. Literally a SpongeBob stomp fest. If I'm wrong, so be it. Whatever. But we gonna see. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna jump into this. If you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub, drop a like. Whole things will be here, but also on Patreon. Link is in the description. Make sure you check that out. Uncut, unreleased anime, and a whole backlog of death battles. Some of them not even on YouTube yet, because sometimes I just forget to even put them up. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, if you see my thumbnails, make sure you click on them. It helps me in the algorithm. We're almost to 5K. We're literally right around the corner for 5K, so I appreciate you help us get there. Uh, if you want to catch me live every Monday and Friday night, yep, today, Monday, because this dropped on a Monday, and I actually did it on time. Pull up and drop a follow over there. Uh, SpongeBob versus Aquaman Death Battle is coming up next. Hey, just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel. You members of the Nasty cast are the driving force that makes all this possible. Catch Director Nasty on Reddit, Patreon, and all other socials in the description below with links. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. The year was 1946. The former allies of World War II were engaged in a cold war between capitalist West and communist East. The United States changed history forever with the introduction of the atomic bomb, a weapon of unparalleled nuclear devastation. One of the most popular test spots, the site of 23 separate detonations over the course of 12 years for a total fission yield of 42.2 megatons, was Bikini Atoll in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The Jesus. devastation and perhaps something more. Deep beneath the atoll, the fauna began to change. They evolved, becoming sentient, forming language, technology, and... Shut the fuck up. Bottom, ...organized into a monarchy under the god King Neptune. It developed a free... There's already just one theory, perhaps, kind of joking about the fact that he kind of had his own wild west medieval painted on the creatures. Okay. Thoughts, ...including the very first multi That's insane. ...categorized as part of the animal kingdom, the sea sponge. And one sponge in particular, the greatest among them, lives in a pineapple under the sea. Oh! SpongeBob SquarePants. No, I wanted to sing the song. I don't know uh, the greatest. SpongeBob 36. Robert SquarePants? He's a painfully naive man child whose only ambition in life is to employ at a month. Honorary town rookie of the day lives in a pineapple. Dead. Outlived the apocalypse. SpongeBob might not have the flashiest life, but he's happy. And that's what matters. Robert SpongePants. SpongeBob is routinely physically capable of even the most basic tasks. Almost like anti team sport. He's the big squib in town. It's like the time he failed to lift a Those are friends helped by finding clean water that he shits himself. Oh my god. Huh. Oh, we're in for some shit now, aren't we? Despite being a real sea creature, SpongeBob is more like a kitchen sponge. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he after all. He can shut up. Shift his body any way he likes. Duplicate himself through asexual reproduction. 
See? From an entire lagoon to, oh god, enough water to replace the moon? Oh, and for some reason he has an Jeez. He survived being torn in half, vaporized, having his soul removed from his body, and uh. really being unraveled out of existence. Jeez, Toon Forest, Goofy Goober Rock, Fourth Wall. As long as he's disappeared, his man's life could be a terror. He's still alive in some fashion, even being unraveled. Like a soapy green lantern ring, his bubbles can become anything he wishes. From guided cruise missiles to sentient life and entire bubble societies. <laughs> similar effect to his magic pencil, which can draw anything he wants into existence. And erase this is going to be an insane fight. The pencil was so powerful, SpongeBob sent it back to the surface where it belongs. But in later seasons, he still just has it for some reason. And finished. I call him Doodle Wiz. Wiz, he's just oh, like God. you. Oh, God. Even the police. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Bruh. the entirety of Earth's oceans in seconds and then exploded on top of SpongeBob all at once. It's estimated the entire mass of Earth's oceans is about 1.5 1 quintillion times. If water refill the planet in about 1 second, that'd be a kinetic energy of over 6,000 Yoda tons. Yoda tons, shut the fuck up. That's not a real number, bro. His hydrodynamic spatula isn't just an impromptu bladed weapon. It's also his primary instrument. The goddamn spatula. Teeny bottom has ever seen. The that Krabby Patty. Nigga, I want a Krabby Patty before I die. Magic. Not only is it totally addictive, SpongeBob was romantically attracted to one. It can nullify mind control, heal wounds, and even detonate. SpongeBob has yep. detonate. Blank. Hugged his best friend Patrick so hard their DNA fused, can ride on the steam transitions, and once cried so hard he flooded Bikini Bottom. Even though it's already underwater yes he grabbed a hold of this mysterious string and unraveled the entire universe oh yeah that's fabric of reality in seconds what he's universal bro you were saying about anti force? I'm, I'm sorry i'm not sure i've ever misjudged a character as severely as spongebob squarepants bro there was unfortunately for roberto the rest of the town only saw the roberto it took more than one adventure to prove himself to be a real bro it's whiz cursing that's new crush robo plankton stayed awake for 43 days straight defeated plankton yo to be real with you yo staying up for 43 days straight is insane because usually once a human gets to like day three or four it starts getting bad day seven yo you start Actually, not even three days. Like, you usually after like 50 hours, you start getting hallucinations. Crazy. What are you talking about? Oh, God. He became a manager? Never knew that. Poor Mrs. Puff. Poor Mrs. Puff, bro. Aquaman, king of the seven seas. We've covered Arthur Curry on the show before, and he's actually secretly awesome. That's right, Boomstick. But the version we're dealing with today is from the bargain bin cartoons from the 60s and 70s. Now, you might assume that means this Aquaman is a total... This thing is flying on flying fish. all those cartoons? Remember, this is from the era when Superman was sneezing solar systems apart. So, get ready. Art's origin is oh, basically Lord. the same Silver Age comic. Tom Curry was a humble lighthouse keeper who decided one day to... 61325, insane. ...procreated with Atlanta, an Atlantean from the underwater city of Poseidonus, and from their union, Arthur Curry was born with magnificent aquatic abilities. And he's Ooh. the king of Atlantis, too. Oh, wait, no, it says here that was introduced in the comics later. Here he's just some guy with magnificent aquatic abilities and a giant mutant sea horse that... What? Land That's land hilarious. ...comes from a time when everybody who's anybody <clears> has their own <throat> secret cave with assorted gadgets. He's got an underwater jet ski, a jet ski, octopus, a water pistol, heat ray. And a heat ray to blast right through solid ice. Oh Not my god. Blowing, but, you know, I'm sure we're ramping up. We sure are. Aquaman's hybrid human Atlantean biology grants him superhuman strength and the ability to breathe underwater indefinitely and withstand. This thing's playing golf. Floor. The pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is 16,000 pounds per square inch. That's like being stepped on by a Jesus. elephants. Which, which is a lot, I guess. Aquaman is also an incredible swimmer. Able the ocean is terrifying, bro. That's almost twice the speed of sound. Damn. Damn. Super strength, swimming, water balls, whirlpool, absorption. He can talk to fish, and he can even control people's minds and give them seizures. Right? Oh, actually, 
that second part is also just from comics. Cartoon Damn. also can talk to fish, which is awesome. His telepathy can reach several miles, summon hundreds of species at once. <laughs> oh my god. Microscopic organisms to alien life, as long as it's aquatic. Wait. Way. But he can still mind control them, right? Kind of. He can freeze them from mind control. Krabby Patty. Their emotional state to some degree, but besides that, there have been times when sea creatures hmm. have just ignored his commands outright. Well, I'm gonna be nah. you. Okay, that makes it's sense. Remotely mind blowing yet. Does this Aquaman actually suck? Hold your seahorses. Aquaman this one. were so world renowned, he banded together with Earth's mightiest heroes to form a team capable of defending the planet, nay, the universe, from any threat. The Super Friends. The Super Friends. Ooh. They're like the nice door knockoff version of the Justice League. I mean, pretty much. Oh, got heavy hitters like Superman, Wonder Woman, yeah. Superman, mm -hmm, keep going. Flash, Green Lantern, uh huh. Apache Chief, Samurai, Black Vulcan, the Wonder Twins, and the Pet Monkey Glee Quiz. Stop. You're embarrassing yourself. No, wait. His best direct strength feat was when he, uh, moved some trash. About what? Metric tons of it. Uh, the jokes write themselves, huh? Fun fact, Aquaman once enrolled in an American college under the name Mr. Waterman. So we're working with a pretty hefty idea. Wow. Okay, so he's lame and arguably completely Stop. Don't make him win. Insane Popeye punching out the animator feet somewhere, but no, he sucks. He actually, actually sucks. His best feat is literally garbage. I'll uh, take over from here, Wiz. Aquaman is a bit of a... The fun Atlantis. 50 metric tons? That's pretty strong. Captain Cantonian Beast, Black Manta. Nah, I'm not slip, summon a blizzard. 2.9 kilotons. Times the speed of light, and Aquaman swimming clearly outmatched that. It doesn't matter if it looks lame. You get one, buddy. And hey, he could probably kick your ass, person that's watching at home. So that's something. Probably. If he's on dry land. Uh, if he's out of the water for even one hour, he dies. Never mind. Person watching at home, just uh, hide for a bit. Yo, I can run Aquaman's fade. Really, what makes someone a hero, or is it the drive to help? I always knew I could. Nah, I really always thought if there was one member of Justice League whose ass I could beat, I saw it was Aquaman. Not literally, like, let's be real. If it's the Justice League, I'm not beating nobody's ass, right? But, like, if you think about it, like, the one person most of us would say is it's Aquaman, bro. Wait. <laughs> Wait a goddamn minute. No, he didn't. Aquaman's funeral. Get the fuck out of here. I almost ruined that. Yo. They're going to hit us with a curveball, aren't they? Nah, hold on. Hear me out. If there was ever a moment to, like, set us up, this would be it, right? This would be the moment where they set us up and they're like, we made you think SpongeBob was going to win, but he's not. I'm so sorry. Listen, personally, I'm going to stay with SpongeBob because I'd be stupid not to, right? I swear to God, if Aquaman wins this. Bruh. Oh my God. Mermaid Man. Wait a second. They're not Mermaid, mermaid Man. Man. The name's Aquaman. Evil doer. Evil doer. <laughs> I'm a hero. Uh, love it. My leg! <laughs> Yo! I ain't gonna lie to you. SpongeBob's a villain, bro. Oh, Lord. Oh my god. They kicked each other in the nuts. Of course. He's a sea creature. And as the king of the seas, he's mine to command. Yeah, right. Have you met SpongeBob? He don't listen to nobody. Just reaching out to you, Sponge. Let him have it, chums. He's a sponge. This nigga goes jellyfishing all the time. <laughs> Get a load of this, man. 
No way. He's going to dry him out. Uh oh. And out of all of them, I'm the lamest fucking one! <laughs> this is so sad. People used to say the same kind of things about me. Goofball, wing nut. Don't let him win, SpongeBob. Don't let him win because he's sad. I'm ready. May the best hero win. This is a hilarious fight. Oh, he erased his ass. Is he a real size of Zeebels? Dead. Shut the fuck up. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Don't cry, Sponge. Let's be super. The squeak of the shoes. <laughs> Ocean Man. <laughs> they call that nigga Ocean Man. Nah. I ain't gonna hold you. They did a fantastic job with this fight. Shut up. Snowball chance in hell. Especially with his much more limited arsenal. I can't think of a more lopsided matchup than someone whose main attack is throwing water. All right, and in the universe, Aquaman said, right, he be from or anything Aquaman could throw on him. Facts. Yeah, nah. I ain't gonna lie to you. They did a fantastic job with this fight, mainly because it was a stomp. They knew it was a stomp. We knew it was a stomp. But they made it interesting. They made it fun. They made it funny. They stayed true to SpongeBob. Stay true to the OG Aquaman without trying to do a bunch of malarkey. They put all the feels in it. This was well done, bro. It was well done. SpongeBob enough to keep him permanently incapacitated, like when he and Patrick were trapped in Shell City. But that would require the fight mm -hmm. to take place out of the water, which Facts. Aquaman up way harder than it does SpongeBob. That yep. also would require the fight doesn't instantly end up with SpongeBob karate chopping Aquaman at ten shit zillion times the speed of light, splattering his atoms against Saturn. Does oh my god. SpongeBob unravels the universe? Considering the No, I'm sorry, I need to do this one. This is this is fucking insane. Nah, literally, Wiz is cursing. It's about 192 micrometers. We can use that to find the volume of, say, one meter of strain and compare that to the volume of the entire observable universe. Considering it took SpongeBob about five seconds, he would have had to be pulling at 8.2 times 10 to the 78th power times faster than Jesus. light. Jesus. As many times faster than light as there are atoms in the universe. This is the fastest calculable speed feat in our show's history. And it belongs to SpongeBob SquarePants. But do you think he could Notice he didn't say Barry Allen, not the Flash. SpongeBob, nigga, the fastest man in the goddamn universe. That string feet also destroyed the entire universe, and stuff like that is actually consistent. SpongeBob is literally aware of the fourth wall and has rewritten the plot of his own story as he won the moral victory. Everything else, Lamau. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Dumbass is his only downside. At least Arthur finally got to be a real hero. And at the end of the day, nah, nah, hold on. <laughs> you see how they slipped that in? You see how they slipped that in? <laughs> they are gods, SpongeBob. Yo, they slipped in that SpongeBob could be Goku. I'm screaming. Gross. Oh, wait, this. Jason versus who? Mike? Ooh. Why are you gonna make them homies fight? 
That was SpongeBob versus Aquaman, the Super Friends version. Uh, funny enough, I was like trying to figure out which version of Aquaman they're gonna use. When he said Super Friends, I wasn't familiar with it. I thought it was like, I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be a cool version of Aquaman. It was the lamest in the entire universe versus literally a Sponge God, Young Sponge God. I'm not gonna call him SpongeBob no more. His new name is Young Sponge God, son. Yo, I knew SpongeBob's feats were out of this world, but to hear that he has the fastest speed feat in the known Dead Battle universe, it's just too fucking funny. It literally is. Um, this uh, poor Aquaman spent the whole Dead Battle just getting dunked on. Like, literally dunked on. Like, alley you on his head top. And, yeah, poor guy. To see him find out that he looked into all the other dimensions and he was the worst Aquaman... Yo, that, that, I'm not gonna lie, that low-key broke my heart. But I really thought SpongeBob, for just a moment, was gonna let him win just because of that. He's like, I say two words, I'm ready. And then this nigga Aquaman tried to stab him, he tried to sneak him, but SpongeBob wasn't with the shit. Um, the reason this, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened between these last three death battles in the first part of this season, but these last three death battles have been fantastic. And the reason I feel like I can say that with the utmost confidence is the Trunks versus Silver one kind of wasn't supposed to make sense, but the battle itself was absolutely fire. The choreography dope. This one, this was supposed to be a pub stomp. It wasn't even supposed to be really be like, oh my God. But like they took a pub stomp and they made it feel good. They made it flow. They made it funny. They made you feel something. Cause yo, seeing, seeing Aquaman find out he's lame, bro. If you didn't if you didn't feel something right here, you're dead inside. You're dead, bro. Cause he's like, damn, bro. Like, you know what? Like if y'all seen um, Endgame, right? Avengers Endgame. When uh, Strange goes in and he comes out and he's like, I'm giving Thanos a stone. And Tony's like, yo, what are you doing? He said, 14 billion possibilities. 14 billion. I'm making the right move. Aquaman saw 14 billion universes, and he was the lamest nigga in all of them. <laughs> oh, my God. For that reason, yo. Oh. <laughs> No, man, on some real shit, this death battle, they did dope. The choreography was fire. The fight was entertaining, beginning to end, and fire. Even though you know it's a pub stomp, they really made him try his ass off. He was out here. They even made him look epic. It's like one of these moments where it's like, yo, he was so lame, but SpongeBob was so dope that SpongeBob still made him look cool, bro. They did a good job with this one. Yo, 10 out of 10 choreography. Uh, they were in Bikini Bottom. That's dope. The environment, I'm going to give it a basic ass 7 out of 10 because it, it was nothing crazy, nothing special, but it was true to the fight. Uh, the models, the models were fire. The, uh, the SpongeBob, I don't know if it was easy to draw SpongeBob, but the SpongeBob model was dope. The Aquaman model, you know, it's 8-bit, kind of blocky, but it wasn't bad. The models, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because SpongeBob's is, was immaculate. Um, yeah, this this was a good death battle. This is another good one in a row. Oh, man. Absolutely hilarious. <sighs> We're going to end this one here. Uh, if you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub, drop a like. Whole thing's going to be here. Also on Patreon, link is in the description. Bunch of uncut, unreleased death battles, anime reactions, other things you might be interested in. Just go check it out. It's in the description. If you see my thumbnails, make sure you click on them. It helps me in the algorithm. It really helps the channel to grow. I'm your man behind the cam. And as always, y'all never forget. Stay nasty, y'all. You're nasty.